brick. Man, I think this uh, scooter's not worth it. Oh, man, I need a new scooter. Oh, this is, this is. Oh, this is probably worth it. How's it going? Um, hope you guys like that little intro. We have a new scooter. This is a Mongoose Rise Expert 110 millimeter wheels, uh, 24 inch tall handlebars. Um, and yeah, it is a about a $200 uh, scooter. We upgraded from the the Razor Pro fold-up scooter, um, as you see here. So today we're going to be doing um, expensive uh, versus cheap. Clearly, this is the cheap one. No, no, this is the cheap one. And then we can just get rid of this one, throw it away. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, testing out the new scooter. Uh, we're gonna be doing two hundred dollar scooter versus forty dollar scooter today, and we're gonna see how it works. So let's go. But before I can do anything, safety is number one priority. So all right. So now that we got safety and safety one, safety is always number one priority. We're gonna be doing $200 scooter versus about $40, $50 Walmart, Target, what have you, Toys R Us scooter. So um, I'm gonna do the cheap scooter first to show you kind of uh, the clunkiness and how not smooth and and why you should um, upgrade. So let's uh, let's uh, do this right now. So I don't know if you can hear the clunkiness on it, but if I just go forward, you hear some clunkiness in it. Um, and something about the cheap scooter is this is very like loose and um, you know very jittery and can be extremely dangerous if you're riding this. Now, Razor scooters are they're good if you're uh, trying to get to like school or you're trying to do something like that. But um, having a decent scooter is uh, worth kind of worth the upgrade. And so if we look at um, this $200 scooter, it's not foldable but which makes it a bit stronger. They are both steel bars, but as you can see, this is a way thick, well, you can't really see it, but this is a thicker, kind of a thicker bar. And um, the clamp kind of connects it together. Um, to see, this is the deck's all one piece, the fork's a piece, the bar's all one piece, which makes these stronger. You want less pieces as possible, compared to a razor that is so many different pieces and stuff like that. So that's why I upgraded because this is a lot stronger because if you just drop this, you barely hear anything. It almost just bounces, right? But if you drop, if you um, lightly drop the razor, you hear the clunkiness in it and it's, I just wasn't feeling very safe while riding the razor. That's why I upgraded to the uh, Mongoose um, Rise 110 Expert. I will leave a link for this in the description if you guys want to go check out and get yourself one of these scooters. So I'm gonna go, um, gonna do some tests now. Some of the tests I'm gonna do in today's video is gonna be a uh, bunny hop, you know, overall, uh, smoothness, riding, turning, um, how quickly, you know, the deck sp spin. This is a bit of a tough deck to spin. And this scooter is a bit heavy, but it is durable. So I think if you're a little bit older, like if you're like me, you're around, you know, ages maybe like uh, fifth, like, I don't know, like, you know, 16 to like, 19 years old if you're in between like maybe you know 15 to 19 years old this will be a good build for you it's heavy but it is durable and i want something durable that was going to work out for transportation wise as well as being able to do tricks on it 
Not saying that I'm gonna become a pro scooter rider anytime soon, but I just want to have something that's gonna add a little bit of flair to my uh, general transport of it. So we're gonna uh, test this out now and uh, we'll see how it works. So. See, the smoothness of the bunny hop. The first thing I notice of the $200 scooter is the bunny hop smoothness is so good. It is 12, about 12 pounds, but it is easy to lift up and you can do some nice curls. So it's also a workout at the same time, which is really nice about this scooter. So um, we'll compare it to the $40 Walmart Target, you know, Toys R Us scooter. And I'm gonna do a bunny hop on this one and show you a little bit of the difference. So as you can tell, I got a lot more air. The only reason for that is the lightness. But lighter is not gonna be necessarily more durable than the heavier scooter. This is gonna blast you less not getting as many years out of a foldable razor because of how many parts it is made out of. You see how the bar is like two parts. You slide this little bit in to here, you know, it's a two part. This is like, this is its own part. You know, this is its own part. Everything is like built like, it has so many, you know, different like aspects to it. And if you listen to it, you can really hear that it's not very sturdy and stuff like that, which makes it, I mean, it's good if you're a young kid and all you want to do is get from to and from, from to and from school with this, but you, um, if you're trying to be like me and you want a good means of transportation, add a little flare in there and add some tricks, you're definitely gonna want to pick yourself up something like this. That's gonna cost you about $200, but it is a great option uh, and you know you can do all your research but honestly if you're just me and you want a good means of transportation don't worry too much about the specs because I think any of the basic entry-level pro scooters out there for any of the companies like Moose, Mongoose, you know they make good um, mountain bikes, they make good BMX bikes and they make good scooters. This is durable, steel bars and it's, and it's gonna last me a long time so yeah we're gonna go do some more tests I'm gonna go to a different location and do more tests all right so yeah we're gonna do a bit of a jump test see how this lands off this whole ledge thing here so yeah we're gonna try it out again So as you can see, it lands. Uh, there's a bit of clunkiness in like it landing. Makes it maybe not ideal for like tricks and stuff. And now I'm gonna try out the $200 scooter and see how well it lands. This will be interesting. This is my first time doing this on this new scooter, so. See, it lands and it was way smoother. It landed so smooth and uh, I'm back up. You guys can almost hear, like hear the difference in it. It landed so smooth, um, which is crazy how smooth this scooter is. And this is about $200 on Amazon. Um, yeah, it, it lands very smooth. It's strong, it's durable um, and definitely recommend you guys go pick up yourselves one um, if you are looking to get into something that's a good means of transportation that you can add a little flare add a little tricks in there but also is durable and also can get you from point A to point B so and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you did like it please leave that blue thumbs up subscribe down below for more content turn on bell notifications so you miss an upload from me and also let me know if you guys have the scooter, what do you think of the Mongoose Rise X-Ray 110? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace.